Hi friends, in this episode we will see about the EC operation for uh, operator A to Z given continued in utility and process operation. Absorption, it is a chemical terminology, the penetration of one substances into the inner structure of another as distinguished from adsorption in which one substance is at- attracted to and held on the surface of the another for example sulfuric acid glycol and some other liquids absorb water from the air under certain condition this is a typical example of absorption in physical terminology retention by a substance of certain wavelengths of radiation incident upon it followed by either an increase in temperature of the substance or by a compensatory change in the energy state of its molecules the uv component of sunlight is absorbed as light passes through glass and some organic compounds the radiant energy being transformed into thermal energy we, we may have come across radiation from uv through uv rays from sunlight and some other sources so that is absorption type of absorption now we can see another terminology which is used frequently in all the industries adsorption is a surface phenomena or physical phenomena adherence of atoms ions or molecules of a gas or liquid to the surface of another substance called the adsorbent best examples are gas solid and liquid solid systems finally divided are micro porous materials presenting a large area of active surface or strong absorbent and are used for removing colors odors and water vapors some of them are activated carbon activated aluminum and silica gel you might have seen in instrument air dryer where activated aluminum and silica gel are used the silica gel small packet in small packet is used in uh, all type of containers also to absorb moisture to avoid uh, the material or items in the storage which are hygroscopic in nature activated carbon is also a good example for adsorption now we can see some chemical terminology acetic acid is also called ethanoic acid or vinegar acid methane carboxylic acid the chemical formula is c3cooh the acetic acid is a clear colorless liquid with a pungent odor it is used in manufacture of cellulose acetate vinyl acetate monomer acetic esters and also used in production of flax six pharmaceutical industries dyes and photographic chemicals it is used as also as a food additive it is as an acetolent latex coagulant and in textile painting next important chemical is also acetone it is also called dimethyl ketone or 2 propanone the chemical formula is ch3coch3 it is a colorless liquid which is sweet is with the sweetest odor it is flammable and having dangerous fire risk its exposure limit in air is 2.6% low limit and upper limit is 1.8% it is used as a solvent for paint varnish and lacquer to it is used to clean dry pots of precision equipment and solvents for potassium permanganate and also used and for iodide such one is a important solvent used in all the industries before seeing other important terminology do not forget to subscribe and share it with your friends put your like and comment in the comment box now coming to the point we can see the important uh, terminology called agitator it is a rotating device that induces motion in fluid mixtures over a wide range of viscosities for viscous liquids which is handled in a chemical industry agitator is a must it will not allow the liquid uh, sol- solid particles in the liquid to settle and uh, keep the viscous liquid into mobile position just affecting 
uniform dispersion of their components that is a device which is used to import motion in the form of stirring the, the liquids or semi solids it contains a shaft and an impeller or propeller the shaft is connected to the gearbox and the assembly is driven by motors using electricity the types of agitators are turbine agitator paddle type agitator helical type agitator propeller type agitator and anchor type agitator normally is used in all chemical industries pharmaceutical industries and other uh, solid handling uh, industries which is having semi solid liquids uh, mainly you is in uh, viscous liquids and oils are used agitator plays a vital role now we can see another important terminology used in uh, all type of industries actuator an actuator is a device that produces a motion by converting energy and signal going into system and the motion produces either it can be rotary or linear the operation of a control valve involves positioning is movable part whether it is a plug or ball or a vane relative to the stationary seal of the valve the purpose of the valve actuator is to accurately locate the valve plug in a position dictated by the control signal the basic types are manual electrically operated pneumatic or hydraulic type more cost effective is electric controls with pneumatic valve actuators or when feasible pneumatic actuators are generally safe and more practical choice this is a normal schematic diagram of a control valve this is a called actuator and this is a positioner and the control valve body this is a normal type of an automatically uh, operated a type of actuator we can identify the panel operator the operator from the control room console operator is asking you to check the control valves in the field to operate a motorized valve or electrically operated control valve you can see a motor connected to the top of the control valve and if it is electrically operated a solenoid valve can see a solenoid valve also there with a pneumatic control hydraulic you can see a hydraulic uh, type part over the top final operator is have all will have a gear box type of arrangement in that so this is all difference when the operator is asking when they don't know uh, or not able to identify the numbers of the control valve you can see whether it is motor motorized or electrical type you can see the top of the control valve solenoid type means we are asking to reset the solenoid valve you can see the solenoid valve here by the control valve and the normal pneumatic control is actuator is there and you can see the movement of the actuator you cannot see the movement but if the actuator is working means you can see the movement of the stem of the control valve so it is an important terminal used in uh, industry all the control automatic control is used control valve the main part is actuator one of the main part hope you might have understand the some important technology used in industries whether it is utility or process starting in a you can see with another some other important technologies starting from a to z in the coming episodes do not forget to subscribe share it with your friends and colleagues put your likes comments if you have any doubt put it in the comment box see you in the next episode thank you very much